Hi lovely viewers, it's me again your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Let us um let us talk to this your so-called self-acclaimed in-law who think he can use an innocent boy who doesn't know anything to skim his way back into the 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 the, 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 the heart of Zambians and some of you are pap are papaying on the comment sections some of some of your women I don't understand Papa ride on Papa ride on Papa ride on ride on to where Ride on to Ndola or to Livingstone. Eh? Or to the Copper Belt. Even when it's so obvious that you know that the person is not making sense. Even when you know that it's so obvious that somebody is not making sense. Yeah, you are still saying ride on, ride on, ride on. Okay, since you think you are you are too sensible, can you tell me one reasonable something that Sia one said? Do you still want me to play the video he made that made people to jump online thinking that they are coming to hear anything? He said, and I quote: "Come on Sunday, twenty-one hours. I am going to open your eyes to a lot of deals and a lot of." Uh, 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 shady deals that people are doing in this UPND government. That was what he said. I heard it clearly. Now, everybody was rushing, hoping that, hoping that they are coming to hear anything. Only for him to come and skip. He used the first 30 minutes of his broadcast to be talking about irrelevant things. That, that has nothing to do with uh, to, to, to do with uh, the, the, the reason why he actually came online. And that is to show you clearly that he doesn't have anything to say. He doesn't have anything to say. If you are in Zambia and you are still seeing Sia One eh, as whatever, as the Messiah or whatever, you must be the biggest joker of all time. Yes, you are. You must be the biggest joker of all time. Yes. I still maintain. The nationwide protest is coming on 1st of August. Siawan should prepare for that broadcast. Siawan should stop wasting time and go and prepare for that broadcast. I hear, I hear, I heard where he was telling you, no, some people were trying to compare Nigerians, Nigeria with Zambia. No, you can't compare the two countries. In his own widest imagination. In his own widest imagination. No Zambian can survive in this Nigerian economy for two weeks. No Zambian can survive in this Nigerian economy for two weeks. If you think I am lying, come and show yourself. If you think I am lying, come down to this side. Come down to this side. What exactly did Sia One end up telling you on Sunday? Since some of you are thinking, he ended up bragging 13,000 people watching. When Muriokore, or what do you call him, speaks, doesn't people watch him? Even when, uh, what is this one with uh, this party that doesn't have members? Uh, the one that lives in a, in a uh, uh, what is the name? Uh, somebody should remind me. Somebody should remind me his name. The one that lives, is it in Liberty House or so? Even when he talks, numbers of people come to listen to him. The most funniest one is um, uh, 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 Chirufia Tayali. 
I have watched Shirufi Atayari's broadcast where 5,000 people, 6,000, 7,000 people are watching him. What is he saying? With all those numbers, what did he manage to achieve? He couldn't even manage to build a party. He couldn't even manage to run a business with that number. He couldn't even manage to secure a reasonable job with that number. So why is he bragging with numbers? He is only bragging with numbers because he managed to manipulate Zambians into believing that there is a spiritual something somewhere that he is speaking under the command of one Godfather anywhere. He casted fears into Zambians in 2021. Now, in this, what he forgot is that that particular fear, I was very happy in that broadcast. I was reading comment, 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 comment. And I said, indeed, we are heading to somewhere. Because people have begun to ask necessary and reasonable questions. Yes, he has interest. And that interest is in monetary terms. In case you people don't know, Siawan has been paid some cash. Stop playing. You people should stop playing or you will learn it the hard way. Money has been transacted. Money has exchanged hand. You may think it's a joke. It is not a joke. All these dead political parties came together and they think they can put money together to give to Siawan to come and revive their dead ambition. They go nowhere. They go nowhere. If Siawan feels that there is corruption, massive corruption, like he's saying in this UPND government. I challenge him to show us real evidence. I'm not showing us uh, something on the screen that nobody, I bet you, if you feel you saw anything in all those broad, in all those things he was showing on the screen, tell me what you saw. Yes, when he showed the white paper. Did you even see the name on that white book? I am asking you. When he showed the Mercedes Benz, what point was he trying to make exactly? When he showed where money was kept on the on the on the table, what point was he trying to make with money being put on the table? When he showed you an agreement that was written in a piece of paper, an agreement that was written in a piece of paper, signed by who? Written by who? Whose picture or video was there? To prove that this agreement was written and signed by any of these two people he's talking about. I can get a, 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 a paper and write anything and sign. And say that it is a Raymond, for instance. Yes. Show us the evidence so that we can see. Show us the evidence so that we can see. How long is this guy... How long is this guy? This guy is not even worth anything here. Nobody even regards this guy as anything here. That policeman, he is moving about with, I can go and get mine. It is nothing. This guy is not regarded as anybody here. Let him start flexing that muzzle he is saying that he has. Let him start flexing it here in Nigeria, the Japan of Africa. The giant of Africa. We want him to start flexing that muzzle from here. And the PF people, they were excited, uh, uh, writing, hey, 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 you people are jokers. You guys are big jokers. Today, Siawan is telling you people that uh, the corruption that is going on in this government is the, what happened in PF is a little compared to what is going on now. I was waiting for him to start mentioning deals upon deals upon deals upon deals. He ended up in a one hour, 20 something minutes broadcast, not saying anything. Not saying anything. Now, take notice of these things that I have said now. Unlike him, who keeps running around without being articulate? If I analyze that broadcast line after line, you will see indeed how empty 
that broadcast was. Number one, you people should ask your one, what is his business in how Zambians source their oil or not? Why did he try to go and rephrase about what happened during Sata time? No, Sata sent me to Angola. Let us, let us even assume that of a true that Sata sent him to Angola. Was he actually expecting President Hichirima to send him to Angola? Or tell him to source fuel from Nigeria here? Are you reasoning what I am saying here? Do you think that it is a coincidence that I am telling you that he wanted an oil deal from Zambia and it failed? Now, in his broadcast, he went to make reference to President Sata sending him to Angola to go and do what? Eh? To go and do what in Angola? To go and do what in Angola? And most of most of them were saying, Papa, ride on. Ride on on what exactly? Ride on on what? Some, pe some people are just so blindfolded. Some people are just so blindfolded. Lies upon lies. I challenge Siawan to show me the show us the CCTV footage of Sylvia Masebo coming to his house and I best say to come and cry. I challenge your one. Let him use that to prove me wrong. You people should tell your one that I challenge him. Let him use that one to shut me up. He said uh, uh, Sylvia Masaba came to his house and I no. He, he in fact Sia one's house in uh, in Ibex Hill is in Kwasi House. That is the second in Kwasi House where political decision is being made. Who ask yourself who is Sia one? When he was still in Zambia. I am asking you. It seems like most of you have forgotten. That Siawan is just. Is just a guy. Who people were giving money. Driving and all those ship ship cars. And the, and the flexing muzzle. Who was he? If Siawan can be moving with police officers now. Driving in that SUV, SUV now. Do you think. He, he actually has such influence. When he was in Zambia. And most of you did not know. Most of you got to know about him when he was deported back to Nigeria. Yes. That was most of the news that made people to know Siawan. Yes. I am telling you. So, if Siawan didn't wield such influence when Sata was, was, was the president, I am asking you. I am asking you. How come most of you did not really go to know about that man, Siawan? Except those who went to his church. Except those who knew when he went to one uh, one church like that with the uh, one TV station, TV station or so to 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 go and uh, uh, exhibit one one thoughtish behavior. Yes. Open your eyes. Every single line in what Siawan said on Sunday was just he and the, he even say always say it with his mouth. He will say, "You don't understand simple psychology." He say he keep he keep guiding you people. He keep guiding you people. Number one, he has made it clear for you to understand that it is politics that he is playing and not any spiritual whatever. You still miss that line when he said it. He went on to tell you again, you don't understand simple psychology. This is how psychology works. You were still blindfolded when he was. If it's more like somebody has given you an exam, and the same person is also giving you some expose. Even when he is giving you some expose, to the answer of those questions in the exam. You are still claiming that you don't know what he's saying. Yes, you are still claiming that you don't know what he's saying. Now, I want to ask you a question. Without Sia one, do you really think that PF wasn't going to lose the election in 2021? Zambians got it here. No prophet helped us to vote out 
President Jonathan during his own time? Was this the one who helped us to vote out President Jonathan during his own time? It wasn't him. People were so fed up, every voice counted. Even the voice of a boy in street market counted in that election. Yes. No effort was a waste in that election. Everybody was up and doing. Even those who never had a voice, their voice was heard during 2021 election. The reason is because people suffered. People suffered and they needed redemption. Siawan ascribing all those victories to himself is just a way of cajoling Zambians into believing that, okay, if he think, wh why is it that it's only in Zambia that he can be powerful with such numbers? When is he going to do a live broadcast in Nigeria here and tell you people that 30,000 people are watching him? When is he going to do that? I am asking you, if he can brag about numbers in Zambia, when is he going to brag about the same numbers here in Nigeria? So 13,000 people or 40,000 people watching CR1 is equal to 13,000 people who will listen to him to whatever instruction he gives them. So when President Hishirima is talking or broadcasting, people from PF doesn't watch him. Is that what you are saying? When President Lungu is doing a live broadcast, so people from UPND, they don't watch him. When the man who lives in the Liberty House, in the Liberty House, Sean Tempo, is doing a broadcast, doesn't PF and the UPND watch him also? When the most confused man I have ever seen, Chirufi Atayali, is doing a live broadcast, doesn't UPND and PF watch him? I am asking you. The man simply failed to understand clearly what happened in 2021. Now, now, the next election, which will be in 2026, if I'm not mistaken, is going to shock Sia One. Yes. It would, it is going to shock Sia One. There is, there was a, what happened in the last election, the last two elections in Nigeria. Something that happened in Lagos. They wanted to go and repeat it in Edo State. And people were using these slangs. Edo is not Lagos. Edo State is not Lagos State. So the struggle should be 2021 is not 2026. Yes. He took advantage of the heat of the moment in 2020 in 2021 now he wants to create an imaginary one he wants to create an imaginary one now not knowing there is an adage in our place that said no fake i'm a home worker unkokwa 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 i don't know how to explain this thing to you Simply because in our place, you don't explain adage. When you tell somebody, when you give somebody that uh, 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 adage, the person is assumed that he has gotten exactly what it means. 2026 is going to put a final nail eh, in the coffin of C1. 2026 is going to shock him to the marrow. I want to see the magic he can do. You people should tell him to go and invoke all the powers of Godfather. We want to see how it is going to happen in 2026. Yes, we want to see how it is going to happen in 2026. A man whose house is on fire. He is busy chasing rat around. Tomorrow is tomorrow not a... Yes, tomorrow is 30th. I don't know if this month... In two days' time or in three days' time, the three days' shutdown of nation, a nationwide protest will begin in Nigeria. And a man who, a youth who is from this part of the country, is busy eh, gossiping in another man's country. You are going to Zambia 
to go and flex muscle. Can you show Zambians how powerful you are at home here? I want you to show Zambians how powerful you are at home there. Those policemen that moves with him, they are more powerful than him. Are you not aware? Those policemen that move with him, they are more powerful than him. They can decide his freedom. They can take away his freedom. If they leave him, he will limit his movement. That is the man. Even a minister moves freely in Zambia without security. Are you not asking yourself a simple question? Or is it that you 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 just don't, you you are just being swallowed by emotion? Are you not asking yourself a simple question? A minister in Zambia moves freely without security. And see one who is a nobody in Imo State. Who is he in Imo State? He doesn't even have money here. Believe me, he doesn't have money here. Do you want me to show you people in their 20s who has a lot of money? I have said it clearly. I told you people, do not be deceived by all those things he's showing you people. Those houses he's showing you people are the commonest thing you can find in every compound here in Nigeria. There is no compound or any family you will not find a house similar to that. Yes. I am telling you, last time he opened a house in his village, right? That was about three or four years ago. Or let me say about three or four years ago. I took a picture in front of one. I drove a bike in front of one. That one I drove a bike in front is over 10 years old. That house you are seeing there has been there, standing there for over 10 years. And it is standing in the village, not in the city. Not in the city. So I wonder what he is using to deceive you people. If you can move freely in your own country and he cannot move freely in his own country, which freedom is he coming to give you? Have you asked yourself that question? You move freely in your own country, you get into a bus, you move, you drive your own Mac S at night, you drive your Land Cruiser, you move around without anybody disturbing you, apart from normal criminal activities that happen everywhere, even in America. Even in London, it happens everywhere. There is no country totally free from crime. Now, somebody who cannot leave his house without employing the services of police officers is coming to tell you that he wants to give you freedom. Why can't he free himself first? Why can't he free himself first? You ended up talking about Sylvia Masebo without showing people exactly what you are accusing her of. He also put a guide somewhere. You know, he used to be smarter. He used to be smart. The only difference now is that he has somebody who is far more smarter than him. Forget about platform. Forget about platform. His platform also grew from one to one million. Yes. If Shurufia Tayali can have two, three hundred and something thousand followers, I ask, who are those three hundred and something thousand followers that are following Sia One, that, that are following um, uh, Shurufia Tayali? But he cannot win even a counselor in any world. Who are those imaginary three hundred and something thousand Zambians who are following him? He think he can, he, he can brag with numbers of people watching him. Did President Hishilima throughout the campaign period in, in Zambia did one million people wash uh, 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 what is his name? Sia One. Did one million people wash him? Go and show me. How many million votes did the UPND get? I am asking. Even before 2021 election, how many votes was UPND getting? Go and check the previous. There was even the, the one that uh, 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 PF used about 100,000 or less than 200,000 votes to win UPND. 
as an opposition party. I am asking you people, have you forgotten that the last election before 2021, President Lungu won President Hichirima with less than 100,000 votes, if I'm not mistaken, or less than 200,000 votes? So can you show me that influence of Siawan in that election that he is bragging about? This is a party that has always gotten above one million in almost all the election that they participated in in the general election that they participated in all those numbers you are bragging about where where are you, where are you getting them upnd has always been the second largest political party in zambia it is normal sense that the moment the the ruling the ruling party fails they were going to get power and if you are a zambian and you never knew that one day President Hichinima will be president of Zambia. You must be a joker. Yes. Yes. A very normal political analyst will tell you that the ground is set for President Haka Inde to, to take over power. Without even any godfather or any spiritual abracadabra anywhere, a good political analyst will tell you that the ground is set. So, why is he bragging about 14,000 people watching him by tomorrow or next? Is he a content creator? People like Sabalo, people like Sabinus, they, they boast with such things because it translates into money. Yes. They boast with numbers because the owner of Facebook pays them money according to the views they get. Why is he one bragging with numbers? They say that I'm not powerful. Look at the people watching me. So people cannot come to wash your, 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 to come and wash your jokes. Are you saying that people cannot come and wash your jokes? What is the name of this, your political party? The one that is owner of the poor people's party. Muriokoya or what? The one that answered a call during a TV program. Doesn't people wash him? People wash him also. People wash him. Who is the politician in Zambia that people don't watch? I ask you, does it translate into vote? It is a simple question. You must be a joker if you think that uh, President Haka in the history of one election because uh, Sia Wan wield an influence from anywhere. Then I will ask you. I will ask you a question again before I move over now. During the last election, eh? During the last election, before 2021 election, how many votes did President Lungu win with against UPND? Go back. Was it even up to 100,000? It wasn't up to 100,000. They were just like this. They were like this. I can tell you that he straight ahead won that election, but he was rigged out of office. Yes, Muyokela. Eh? Why are people bragging with unnecessary things? The man came for almost one hour, 30 minutes. He ended up running around uh, 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 Woodland Stadium. And at the, at the end of the day, he retired back to his house without saying anything. He did not say anything. Sylvia Masabo, uh, the other one, I'm going to show you evidence when I talk. Trying to confuse you psychologically. He will say something that doesn't add up. He will use a particular word to back it up, trying to play on your intelligence. Wake up. Wake up and open your eyes. Wake up and open your eyes. Do not be deceived. Do not be deceived. Let him post every single evidence. Let him make it as a post. As a post. Where there is video evidence, let him send video evidence. Yes. Where there is video evidence, let him send a video evidence. Anything short of that, he is back to his usual games. Which I say what, number one, he will first of all blame himself for being part of the people that brought the government into power. He will, first of all, secondly, acknowledge the fact that he knew that this person wasn't prepared or qualified. 
But because he wants to get to the other, other person, he had be, to be part of that process. Full of apologies. Full of apologies. During 2021 election, he kept on apologizing for being part of them. I was part of them. I thought this. I thought that. So Zambians, forgive me. I ask you if he can be part of the people that brought President Lungu into power like he claims. Now, he said, he said, according to him, that President Lungu is weak or whatever, blah, 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 that it was just to consolidate Sata's legacy. So because of consolidating Sata's legacy, it is enough for uh, 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 um, CR1 to give you people Lungu. Knowing fully well that Lungu wasn't qualified. He apologized for that. Now, just to get to President Lungu again, he gave you people Haka in the Hishirima. Even when he knew that President Hishirima will not perform. Apology number two. Who next is he going to apologize for? I'm telling you. Who next is he going to tender apology? No. I, I, I gave you people this person because I want to take out President uh, Haka in the Hishirima. It's a simple politics and psychology that your one is using on you people. My only happiness is that I did not hear Godfather this, Godfather that, spiritual this, spiritual that. I did not hear it. Meaning that we have defeated that part. He is now speaking as a political analyst, just like you. He is now partaking in politics just like you. He has proven to you people that he's just a canal person just like you. Yes. I challenge him to come and flex that muzzle here. 13,000 people. Who will watch Sia One here? I challenge him to go live here and advertise on his page that he is going to talk about Nigerian politics. If three people watched it, 1,000 900 and something people will be Zambians. Yes. I'm telling you. A prophet should be first valued in his own land. Yes. A prophet should be valued in your own. You haven't built a house. But you are going to build a house for someone. Which kind of a generous man are you? You are living in a rented house. Eh? And you are you are you are building a house for somebody. Which kind of a generous man are you? How can you be interested in the maternal home of your son? Forgetting his paternal home. Let us even forget about your son. Is your mother not still alive? Is she not buying a bag of rice the same amount I'm buying here? Are you not buying using fuel to fuel that house you built for your mom? Okay, let us forget about your mom. What of your brothers and your sisters? Let us forget about your brothers and your sisters. What of the people from your maternal home? Let us forget about them. What of the people from your extended family? What of your, your friends and relatives here? You forgot about all of them and you are only thinking about your son who will one day go back to his maternal home. Yeah? Are Zambians really thinking the way I am thinking? Or is this just a group of people being manipulated emotionally simply they think because things... It's not going on well. Each time you think that things is not going on well, remember 2021 or down to when PF took over. The moment you remember that, your hope will come alive that one day things will be okay. Each time you want to get tired, remember 2020, 2019, 2021. Remember what you went through. Forget about all these PF guys who are masquerading and parading around. They will teach you 
uh, the remaining lesson. And this time around, eh, they can give their life instead of giving that power back. God has delivered you. Do not go back to where you are coming from. You guys left Egypt a long time ago. Do not go back to Egypt. Too. Better remain in that promised land. For that is where your salvation will come from. If you make a mistake of going back to Egypt, your name is sorry. Pharaoh will not allow you to go again. You defeated Pharaoh. Do not go back to him. He will not let you go. The man is filled with bitterness and vindictiveness. When he speaks, you could sense hatred in him. I'm talking about Lungu. Yes. You could see a man who is coming back for a full-time revenge. He will revenge for you people booing him in Hero Stadium. This time around, he will not let you people go. Let him go and rest. I know that absolute power corrupt absolutely. But let him go and rest. His friend and colleague is doing 100 times more better than him. Look at projects scattered all over Zambia. And some people are saying they are not seeing anything happening. Are you for real? Are you for real? And people like Sia One is busy talking about, no, in PF they were eating. When you do contract, you give 10% to the party. Is that what you people wish for Mother Zambia? So you want UPND to remove PF and recruit themselves again. Then what has changed? What has changed? Is it not clear that if you, who is a PF, is even complaining, a UPND is also complaining? Meaning that the problem is general. It is not limited to one person. If UPND are enjoying and PF are suffering, then you will say, no, these people, they are just doing this or doing that. I am asking. Eh? I am asking. If even you PND are complaining, what makes you think that the problem facing Zambia is not more serious? You want Hakainde Hishirima to turn into an overnight magician? Is that what you want? He has sacrificed everything. Even stay walking from his house. Who doesn't want to move into state house? Do you know how many millions he will use to renovate that state house? If Lungu wins again, he will put how many billion kwacha in that state house? He was there because that state house is far much better than his own house in, 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 in Chawama. Are you going to compare two of them? Are you going to compare two of them? President Hishirim upon assuming office never even wanted to move with all those luxurious SUVs. He bought a car which he has already branded the number plate to use his own car. He has forfeited the salary. Who has done it in Africa here? Who has done it in Africa? Tell me a president who has done it in Africa here. Tell me. The man is using his own personal money to be sinking boreholes, building hospitals in some district. Are you for real? Are you for real? This is a man. See, one is coming. You will not see anything in his cupboard there is no skeleton see one can jump from tomorrow for today he will not present any single evidence apart from this uh, look look you see i'm showing you this look what is this you are seeing uh, let me show you another document look at another document look at another document which document is this? Look at another document. Which document is this? And some people are saying, Papa, ride on. They are not even seeing anything. They are not even seeing anything. 
Yet they are saying, Papa, ride on, ride on, ride on. But they are not seeing anything. And they know that they are not seeing anything. President Hichirima, after watching that broadcast, we even ask and laugh and say, I think I'm doing well. <laughs> because it's obvious he's doing well. Andy, knowing fully well that he doesn't really have anything to say, he first of all, I want you to take note of all this point from his broadcast. Knowing fully well that there is nothing he can point at to say, look at what these guys are doing. He first of all started by telling you that uh, PF members are poor thieves because they don't have money before they assume power. So when they stole the money, they lavished it because they have not seen money before. He started by telling you how poor uh, Boma Luzambo was before they took over power. Now, he went on to tell you that UPND, that they are smart. Eh? That they take money and they go and put in offshore account. What is he showing you? He hasn't seen anything he can place his hand or his eyes on. So he is walking his way through, knowing fully well that there is nothing he can point at. There is nothing he can physically point at. He is now manipulating your mind into automatically believing that the money that was not anywhere has been taken away to somewhere. You go explain tire, no evidence here, one. You will explain from now till next year. There is no evidence. For you to even compare UPND with PF, eh? it is a disaster on its own. Yeah? For you to compare UPND with PF, it is a disaster on its own. Who did not feel the pain? JJ Banda suddenly turned into a scent that you wanted JJ Banda to come to Nigeria and speak from here. Go and watch your previous broadcast in 2021 and see the devil you made out of JJ Banda. I don't have value for men who cannot stand with their word. I don't have value for men who keep changing their words from A to B, from B to C. JJ Banda suddenly became an angel that you want to bring him to Nigeria to, ha to harbor him. If he comes to Nigeria, I will come and say, Banda, you are welcome. I will welcome him. I will welcome him. Yes. But I am asking you a question. Why do you think that you can be rainbow with seven colors? And each time you change color, you want to drag the whole of Zambians into that color. I am asking you, a chameleon that changes color. Each time you change color, you want to drag the rest of Zambians into that particular color that you have changed. Eh? Lungu now is a scent. President Lungu now has suddenly turned into a scent. It's more like everything you said about Lungu is what you have changed now. You have only removed Lungu to put Hakainde, removed Hakainde to put Lungu. Eh? You said UPND has ended. They are finished. Their time is gone. How I wish you never said that. How I wish you never said that. That will be where Zambians we know that Siawan is Siawan is what? Reply to him on his comment section. Ask him necessary questions. There is no Godfather anywhere. No spiritual power anywhere. When he meets you on the on the ground, if he slaps you, slap him three times. Yes, if you can beat him physically, 
there is nothing spiritual he can do. He doesn't, he doesn't even have a paracetamol. I'm telling you, boldly speaking to you. If he has spiritual power, why is he coming out to talk? Hmm? If he has spiritual power, why is he coming out? You people should wait. The desperate opposition parties We go and sign a city agreement with him, thinking that it will go anywhere. I want you people to tell him, to state to you the content of that agreement he is seeking to sign. What is it he felt that UPND did not give him because he did not sign agreement with them? What is that? He is trying to correct it now by wanting to go into agreement with the opposition. Stop missing lines when he is broadcasting. I want him to be more careful now when he is broadcasting. This is not those days when you can come out to say anything you like and go away. Eh? This is not those days when you can come out and jump up and down and dance and go away. Now, there is a microscope waiting to, on, to, 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 to throw away. Or we, we, we look at every single word you have said. Yes. So don't think that this is like those days when you can come and speak anyhow. No, those days are gone. Before you come to talk now, my friend, prepare yourself. Do a rehearsal. See, one, I'm talking to you. Do a rehearsal before you can come and talk. Otherwise, you will keep nailing yourself. I will, I, I will, I will, I will make sure of that. Yes. You can manipulate some Zambians, but not all the Zambians. I am here to guide them. I am here to tell them that I know the game you are playing. That game cannot stand in Nigeria here. Where you can sheepishly both, both of us. I challenge you to do a broadcast in Nigeria. Let 2,000 Nigerians watch you. You cannot. You cannot. You cannot. We have people like Shari Boy, Showere of Sahara Reporters, Deji Adebanju. We have people like them here in Nigeria here. They are even failing to pull a certain numbers. You can only go boast of such numbers because you think you can manipulate Zambians. But the game is over for you. Hmm. When I said the new sheriff is in town. You fail to understand what I was saying. You boast of your platform and I told you, as little as this platform is, this platform is going to open your niche for people to see. Are we hearing about Godfather again? The answer is no. He used it to threaten people like um, uh, 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 those days. He, he said he's going to pay who a visit. Who did he say is going to pay a visit at night? He said, no, I will command uh, 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 Kambuli to do this. I will turn this person into a goat. I will do this one. I will do this one. I will do this one. Those are, <laughs> those are, <laughs> those are stories of those days. <laughs> it cannot stand down. <laughs> When he says he's going to visit you at night, tell him I will be wait patiently waiting for you to come. Tell him, come at night, let us drink tea and discuss. Say, one, I want to have a fruitful discussion with you. Can you come at night? How can he leave his police officers to come to Zambia at night to come and see you? How can he leave his police officers? Those police officers, they have him in, in, in their hand like this. Yes, those police officers are more powerful than Godfather. He then calls himself a Jagaban. Do you know who is the actual Jagaban of Boguland? Do you know who is the Jagaban of Boguland? The Jagaban of Boguland is President Asewaju Amede. Tinubu.
My friend, the ring story was just a, a, a cooked up story that was used to hoodwink Zambians into believing that, uh, uh, PF. PF simply failed and they lost power. There is no ring anywhere that was taken from them or given to them. That story of a ring was just a propaganda. He confirmed it. I posted it on this page. If you want me to confirm to you so that I will show you. If Siawan can go as far as a lion about Godfather, if he can go as far as lying, lying about giving people a ring or ring to get power, if he can go as far as lying that he gave people do as I say to win election, what makes you think that he is not lying again against Hakainde Ichinima and UPND? Now, some people will keep saying, some people we keep saying no, but the UPND praised him in 2021. It wasn't only the UPND. Everybody was desperate to change government then. People needed fresh air. People needed the change of government. So, Siawan speaking the same language that everybody was speaking. There is nothing really... Why can't people support him? I am asking you. I am asking you, what is it all about him helping to, 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 to UPND to win election? Was it, did, did he force you people to believe that there is hardship in Zambia? Were you not suffering then? Were you not suffering in Zambia? Were you people enjoying eating chicken, uh, buying mini meal, 50 kwasha, and Siawan came and told you people, no. 50 kwasha is expensive. Change to Haka in the Hichirima. I am asking. I am asking. Were you people enjoying in 2021 and 2020? And Siawan now came to tell you people, no, this enjoyment you people are having is not enough. Go to Haka in the Hichirima. So, can you tell me Exactly what he said in 2021. I am asking you people. I am asking your ability to ask necessary questions. And your ability to answer it accordingly will help you to see the truth. You were suffering before 2021. That suffering is enough for you to vote out PF into power. Was it some so if you are standing under the sun, you will want me to come and tell you, my friend, go to the shadow there. The sun is too much on you. If rain is falling, you will want me to come and tell you to go to that house and take a shade there. So you can now say that no, unpopular opinion says you should go away from the sun. That is exactly what most of you are saying now. That see, it was year one. Who told you in 2021 that you were suffering and not you who realized that you were suffering? Is that what you are trying to tell me? Siawan is one out of people who played important part in 2021 election. Among all, you were suffering and you needed the change. Molly Ritula, I know people like you. I know people like you. Now, if you think that what Siawan is doing now is going to usher you back into city market, or Kamwala, you are a joker of all time. Go and look for job. Go and look for job. There is too much job in Zambia. Go and if it's, if it is peace work. Go and engage in peace work and make a meaningful money. Yes. That is how you people went and start building houses that people did not even occupy. 
move all over Lusaka, I beg you, woodlands and everywhere. You will see houses built without people occupying them. Is that not wickedness? If that is not wickedness, tell me what it is. Huh? And Hakainde Hichirima said it is time for people to work and make money from their sweat. And you, you are not okay with it. You are not okay with it. Over 40,000 jobs created. Flyover bridge. Over how many thousand schools? Equipped. Roads. Being built all over everywhere. And you are saying government is not working. Project decentralized within the 10 provinces of Zambia and not people who concentrated in Lusaka and stole away your money. They stole your future and you are clapping for them. Hey, PF legacy, PF legacy. One day they are, the Chinese people will get you in that Kenneth Kaunda International Airport. That is when you will know that you are moving on, you are move, traveling from the airport that was almost borrowed 100% of the money. You want to keep living in affluence when you are owing a lot of people. Who does that? Why can't you concentrate in paying your debt? You don't want to pay what you owe. But you want to keep enjoying. Yeah? I will ask you, between a man who borrowed money to buy a car that you are driving, and the man who is struggling to pay the debt on that car you are driving, who actually bought that car for you? Since you are very intelligent. Between the man who borrowed money, squandered half of that money, and used it to build Kenneth Kaunda International Airport, and the man who is crashing his head, trying to pay back the money that he did not eat or he did not shoot, who is the, the main hero behind that uh, 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 Kenneth Kaunda International Airport, since you are wise? Since you are intelligent. Between a man who borrowed money to buy food for you and the man who paid back that money that was borrowed for that food you ate, who, who is the actual person that bought that food for you? Since you are very intelligent, your ability to answer these questions will clear a lot of doubt for you. You people did not know what UPND government is passing through. Somebody gave over 90 million naira kwasha to the son as a birthday gift. Gave him over 30 vehicles and a poor man like you who cannot even afford to buy a 50 kwasha talk time. You are here saying right on to a clique of people that destroyed the official. Eh? Some people de de deserve to be tied and whipped 100 strokes of cane so that their brains can open. Whoever that is deceiving you people to say that you did not make a right decision in 2021 is not a friend to Zambia. That person is an enemy to Zambians. 69 vehicles to his son. Do you have one? Do you have one? How many square meal did you eat today that you are busy clapping, eh? clapping and hailing a man who has more than enough to give close to 70 vehicles to his son as a birthday present. Giving over how much and kwasha and, and the houses to couple with it. And you are telling me that uh, some of you who are shouting, et galung, et ga you are telling me that you are okay. You must be sick. You must be sick. It's just that you haven't just realized that you are not okay. You thought obviously that you are okay. But you are not okay. The day most of you will realize that, uh, that uh, 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 Chufia Tayari is the number one enemy of Zambia. That day you people will stop taking him serious. A man who delights pressure each time Zambians are suffering. Provided that him and his family is enjoying against the collective interest of over how many millions of Zambia are you people listening to such people? You listen to such people. 
Look at him. I am happy that the this, this suffering is gradually hitting him harder now. He has started putting filters in his videos. What has changed on his appearance? Have you noticed that he is beginning to put filters and add effect on his videos? Are you not seeing it? What is he trying to hide on his face? The hardship is beginning to bite on him. And I'm waiting to see how long those people will harbor him where he is. I'm waiting to see how long they are going to sponsor him. They are sponsoring him believing that in 2026 they will have their way back into the seat of power. They will sponsor him forever. They will get tired and he will come back to Zambia. Yes. There is no hiding place. I am happy that sentences are beginning to come out now. They are beginning to... More people have gone to prison within the past three weeks. They should continue in that, in that way. That is the only way people will learn. That is the only way people will learn. Hmm? No atom of truth. From Siawan. He ended up lying from the beginning of the broadcast to the end. No single truth. Sylvia Masebo came to my house. She was crying. He thinks that those antics of yesterday is going to work today. When unpopular opinion is still very much vibrant here. Show us the CCTV footage of that. You don't need Sylvia Masebo to challenge you before you can show it. Show it so that people... People, people, people will know that what you are saying is the truth. You are telling people something and you are, you want someone to come and dis dispute what you are saying before you can. A simple show of that CTV footage will prove a lot even without you saying much. Why do you need to be talking too much when you can actually sh show something? Are you getting what I am saying? I mean, if you have the CCTV footage, why can't you show it? I can place money on the table. I have as much money that I can place it on the table and accuse Mr. Okonkwa that it was a transaction they were doing. When there is no picture that caught the face of anybody, you can't even tell me whose office that is. Money was simply placed on the table. Money can be placed on anybody's table. How can you prove that it is a, a minister and a, a Chinese man who were transacting there? How can you prove, prove that? How can you prove that? You cannot prove that. You went on to start showing people a, a, a white book and a vehicle. Saying that it is the wife driving the vehicle now. Meaning, meaning, meaning what? What does it mean? You went on to show people a drafted agreement on a, on a, on a Jota. Do you know what Jota is? A, a, of course, we all know what Jota is. A diary, you will understand it better. A turn one, a turn one. An agreement that was drafted without anybody. Anybody can write anything and I can I can I can say it it is you who wrote that. I was expecting voice notes. Even a WhatsApp chat. Let me show you another tricks. I can open a number for Shirufia Tayali. And show you that this is Shurufia Tayali. I can now go back on my phone. And bring out a conversation between me and myself. This is a phone. This is a phone. This is another phone. I can discuss from this one to this one. From this one to this one. I say what I want to say here, I respond on it here. I say what I want to say here, I will respond to here. Then, I will open Shirufia Tayari's real number and show you. I will go back, I will go to that conversation and start showing you what I want to show you. It is only when you hear voices that you will know, yeah, there is actually another person speaking. Or call. 
that you will know that there is actually another person speaking and not one person talking and responding to yourself. I want to show you and teach you so that you can be alert. When you want to deal with a common man, you should be smart. Your number six, your sixth sense should be activated. He ended up on Sunday. He lost composure. You could see, uh, we want to hit the ground or running. On what? This is just a test of microphone. He even went as far as uh, of saying, no, I wanted to come live. But uh, the government sent people to me. And the, uh, the opposition also sent people to me. Ha! Is this not the same people you wanted to pull down so that they can lose election? Show us the CCTV footage of those people sent to you in your office. You want to bring them down. That should be the easiest way. Show us the conversation, voice note, we want to see. Call the names of those people who visited you. Show the proof that they actually visited you. You can prove that they visited you. Where did the meeting held? Is it in a hotel? Is it in your office? Is it in your house? Whichever where, you have an advantage over them. If they actually visited Nigeria. Show us a flight ticket that shows that these people actually visited you. Stop deceiving people. Nobody was sent to you by UPND government. Nobody came to you. You never had the balls to come out. You intentionally did not come on live that day. You only summoned a lot of courage to come on live last Sunday. Little do you know that that was the greatest mistake. Now you, being smart enough to tell people that if the opposition fails to sign an agreement with you, you will not speak again. That is a very intelligent move. At least when you stop talking, people will not question why you have stopped talking. We know about all that. What you know, I know. What you know, I know. Now, what I know is, you don't know. I have mastered your mode of operation. So, when you make a move, I already know. You have mastered nothing about how I, how I operate. Now, the same format you used in 2021 is the same format you are playing out now. How do you want? At least change format. At least change style. Use another format. This old one has casted a long time ago. How else do you want me to tell you that this old format is not working? How else? Now, it is people like you that he can be manipulating the way he is doing. I am opening your eyes. If the opposition fails to sit down and talk and reach an agreement with me, you will not hear me talk again. Eh? He is trying to tell you something. So that anytime he shakes out, you will not question how, why he is no more talking. Do you know what it took him to come online? The moment I spoke, he knew there is a problem. Yes. But when he received the payment which he got, he really needed to entertain those lost oppositions. This initial gra, -gra was just to tell them, no, I am not afraid. I am not afraid. UPND cannot bribe me. Is that a way of again pushing another request to UPND? When the first one has failed, the second one has failed, the third one of wanting to be an advisor from Nigeria failed. You are now 
pushing an idea for them to give you money. Eh? Is it an idea of Fatrice telling UPND that uh, if they fail to come and see you or negotiate with you, that the opposition are ready to come and negotiate with you? Eh? Is that what you are trying to tell people? I am asking. Eh? Hmm? You people should open your eyes. Open your eyes. Hmm? Activate your sixth sense this night. You can't compare, my dear. Now, look at me. I had to leave the comfort of the room where I was to come to this car for me to get a better network. But instead of somebody doing the same thing, he decided to make it look like there is a government somewhere tampering with the network. Zambians. <laughs> Zambians. You, you guys should be smarter than this. <laughs> I, I expect you people to be smarter than this. Who, okay, who was tampering with my own network? The moment I left the room where I was and came down to this car, I got a better network. So, who was the person tampering with the network of C1? What was he even saying that the network should be tampered with? Was he saying anything? Was he exposing anything against what he said? Tell me one exposure that you got from what he said. You know that he did not expose anything. Even you as a PF member, you know that C1 did not expose anything. Tell yourself that truth. That is the reality you either believe that there is nothing to expose or you believe that the UPND is fixing the mess that you people left. Or you believe that that mess cannot be fixed within just these short years. Or you either believe that the what you people left in seven years, eh, if there's not even a man like President Ichirima, there shouldn't even have been anywhere for him to have started. The problem started with PF. The problem is running still on PF. Until that problem is settled, it is still PF, 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 PF. If you miss it here, then I don't know what I should be telling you. Say that it is unpopular opinion that says that. Come back to where? What are they coming back? What did they forget in so that Boma and Luzambo can come and deal with most of you? You don't know. You think they are happy. You think they can, they are, do you want me to remind you their names so that each and every one of them that I call their names, there are things you should remember about them. Now think about what they will do to you this time. You will see hell with your eyes. Allow Sia one to mislead you. You will cry beyond 2026. Boma Lusambo. He will deal with you people ruthlessly this time. Call their names, all those guys, all these commanders. They will teach you people a bitter lesson. This suffering. 50% of the people crying today are PF members who were enjoying when you were crying. What is the problem if they are crying with you now? You have been crying all along. Let them cry with you for some time. You be, you started being simp you started sympathizing with them. You 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 started sympathizing with your tormentors, and you think you are okay. You see, a former PF guy will never come back. Tell them to stop. Yeah. I don't know why Africans forget too much. I don't know why Africans forget too much we easily forget where we are coming from the way we move on the way we move on is somehow 
I'm not God, but God gave us former PF and ECL to know how careless failure. Okay, I'll be ending this broadcast here. Know it today that I said so. That Siawan fought out with P uh, uh, UPND because he failed to lay his hand on the deals he pushed. Fat. He collected money paid from a known bank cashed in the same known bank in Nigeria here. Don't ask me to show you any evidence. It was him who said he has all the evidence. So him failing to give it me, I'm only telling you, if you like, believe. If you like, don't believe. I'm not even forcing you to believe. If you like, believe. If you like, don't believe. I don't have to start showing you a phone like this. Hey, 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 hey. I take it down. Hey, 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 I take it down. I don't have that time, my friend. I don't have that time. If you like, if you like, don't. It is on you. It is you who will cry, not me. It is you who will cry, not me. Then, is it not clear to you now that he did not actually show you people anything that Sunday? He did not, he never even exposed anything. He was only gossiping. He was only gossiping without evidence. Showing us people's car. Bragging. Bragging about numbers. Forgetting that we are not talking about numbers here. We are not talking about numbers here. If a platform with less than 2,000 followers in the last broadcast managed to get close to 30,000 views, why are you bragging about uh, one point something million followers? Eh? And that followers stopped being active after 2021 election. Now you want to build life again back to that page. And Zambians are dancing to that tune. It's on you all. Eh? It's on you all. We'll keep trying our best. You see? I will keep trying my best. But you will let her thank me. For those of you who are waiting for 2026, you will wait in vain. You will be further be disgraced in 2026. In 2026, there will be a consolidation of what happened in 2021 to show you people that there is no regret. Go and work. Go and look for job. People has been working even when you were eating. Start working now. That you are crying with them now. Are you claiming that you don't know that they have been crying a long time ago? You haven't even cried for three years. And you are complaining. You are complaining. Yeah? This is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. I will see you people again. Tomorrow maybe. Yeah? Tell him next time he wants to come online. He should go and prepare. It is a time to do a rehearsal ten times. Examine every word. Shake every action. Shake your body language before you come online. Because there is a satellite on you monitoring every single thing you say. Yeah? It is not business as usual. Look for a new format for the old one has long casted. It will not stand again. Except if I am not here. Yeah? Make sure you share this video. Tag people to this video. People need to listen and be wise. Eh? My regards to Sia One. My regards to Sia One. I will see you people when I see you. Have a pleasant night rest. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.